G'day everybody and welcome to the Automatons Beta Testing. Today I've got lots to talk about and yes I know I probably sound a little weird and all that sorts of stuff as I've got a few problems with my old PC causing issues with the PSU as our house got struck by lightning the other week. Waiting for the new part to come in, waiting to do a new live stream to upload all my new blueprints in vanilla, no mods, no DLCs. It's got a infinite tunneler, an infinite space elevator, as well as the elevator itself. In saying that, I want to talk about a few of the new blocks on the new AI side of things. Yes, I have found that they break my drones. Yeah, good fun, and I'll show you exactly how that happens. So I'll press that button to activate that actual timer block as the normal ones, if you're familiar with this channel. If not, hit that like, hit that subscribe. You notice that it didn't actually go up flat while aligning to P gravity. This is without any AI blocks, but with the new beta installed. As you see, it still hits that one, very quite strugglingly, and it doesn't actually aim like quite level at it. So we'll wait for that to get back in just a second. And I've got an identical drone to that one except it has the AI blocks and I've just removed one of the two remote blocks I have on this drone to replace it with this AI move block this one right here this AI move and the reason why I've had to replace it with the block that's in the middle as GPS's now use this AI move block to hit them to be precise so if I just copy this and put it over to the side so we can do this again and I can show you exactly what's happening, but this will come back as intended. So if I activate this drone, actually go into the activate timer, very quickly to show you that there's no remote block here. It doesn't actually work as intended with the remote block. And I'll show you why I've kept one on here in just a second. So as you can see, it just turns the AI behavior on on both of those two blocks it needs for it to perform its task. So let's press the button one again for it to activate. And you may notice that it actually came up very quite flat. Not only if I go into it and go to this move block here, not only is it aligned to P gravity here, but if I go into it again, it also has all three of these values marked at zero. So it's going to do as intended with this new remote block with its new GPS locations. Another thing I've noticed as well is that we'll just unlock from that and go over here to the exact copy. We'll go into here and because this has a remote block on it, as you can see just there, I'll go into here and go to remote control to control it. You may notice that I can actually control it. So I'll unlock and go up to show you and then lock again. But if I were to get rid of that remote block over here. As you can see, there's no remote block there on this grid whatsoever. No remote block. I'll go into the remote access. I can't control it. So I can't view the camera. I can't move it around. I can't do any of that jazz. And I'm not too sure why the AI basic doesn't have that actual ability to control it. I hope that does come out when it's in proper full release as that could be quite game breaking for most of my designs, but it wouldn't be too hard. I'd be able to do a live stream to show you how I'm fixing it all, upload it, update it right in front of you. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. See, as you can see, it all deleted, or all dropped all of its payloads. As you can see, they're all in the uh, world over there. And it came flat on the connector to actually enable it to connect up. We look over here, it didn't quite happen the same way. Now, that's because if I go into here, these ones are on and they did have all of it to be working, but it didn't have any of this set up. As if I go into the activate, it's not actually there to turn on or activate, only to activate the remote control as intended with my original design. Yes, it does drop the payloads as it reaches the actual GPSs, but does it actually intend to hit those GPS's in a way I need them to? No, not really. So I will have to work out how it connects with the record block in the future. But unfortunately, I hear there's only about a week or so that this DLC or this BL, 
all this beta is actually available. So make sure you go and check it out and have lots of fun. This, this is awesome. I'm having a, a blast. All right, quick last test. I want to see if this still works with the remote block, but without the actual AI basic task that actually has the GPS point. So I'm going to turn that off, go into the activate, and I'm going to put that autopilot to on once it was before. Go into the move. It's going to go 10 kilometers, all zero on all of those. That's good. Go to the remote control. It already has all of those functions available. So let's see what happens. Yep. For some strange reason, without this actual AI basic task, it will not actually register what is read here. Which is really quite strange. So if I were to go into here, turn that when that happens turn the autopilot off on this and then turn the AI behavior on this you see it's not actually angling in any way shape or form because it's reading this and strangely if you don't have a remote block of any sorts on your grid you can't get in control of it you can go to the terminal because of the antenna but you can't get in control of it to actually lay out anything you want using the cameras so it would be completely AI with no human interaction whatsoever I hope they change that in the future as that could be extremely game-breaking I think in terms of all of my designs but if they were to do that it's pretty win-win as I can do a live stream to show everyone how I fix it, how it all works, upload it, update it right in front of you to the Steam Workshop and Mod.io, all on a live stream while you follow along. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. All right, moving along to some missiles I've built to show you very quickly. This has got everything a growing missile needs, a battery, a gyro, the two AI blocks and thrusters, and of course, the tank itself. Merge block just to connect it to the grid and a timer block to activate things all at once. Now I've only got one timer block on this for the fact that I'm just going to activate the two AI functions on these two blocks only. Those two designs over there, there's two timer blocks, one to allow it to launch up in the air before activating those AI blocks with some other functions I'll get to in just a second. Now. This is all the stuff I've changed it to. The target search interval, I've changed it from the default 30 to 5. The guidance is on basic, the threatening subtype is on default, it's on intercept, 100 meters per second, and the rest of those AI moves are all on default. Now, as always, I built this in survival with creative mode tools, so let's get rid of that O2 gen, and let's launch this up. Let's see what this basic guidance actually does. Flying on down, it's actually aligned to the gravity, as you can see, oh, it nearly hit the tree, that it's actually flat but it doesn't actually intercept anything. It doesn't run into anything. So let's delete this and let's go back. All right, and we're back. Now, a couple of differences on this one is that I've got it changed to proportional navigation guidance. I have no idea why this drone acts like this when this setting is activated, but let's just see what it does. So now it will actually launch up for three seconds and then turn its AI block on. Exactly the same sort of thing as the one before, except it just has the target difference on it. And as you see, it doesn't really like it at all. I'm not too sure what this really is. Let me know in the comments below. So let's get rid of that and let's go back. Now, this is the missile I have found to work perfectly fine. The threatening subtype is currently on default, but I might actually change that to power systems for the fact that the batteries are somewhat more in the middle of my enemy cargo drone I have down there. Now, let's get rid of this and let's launch it up like the rest of them. So let's go up in the air and then turn on those AI blocks with those timer functions, just like so. This has target prediction on. That's the difference and it is fantastic. No matter if your enemy is stationary or moving, this will work regardless. As you see, it ran straight into it. 
direct hit. It hit the batteries as it should. So let's fly back. And I wanted to say a couple things I have found. Now, this is my planetary guided sensor missile using the 1200 meter sensor range mod. The rest of it has no scripts, no other mods, no DLCs. It's available to download right now. And no, it does not work with the AI blocks. This is completely vanilla. So this, when I press the button, it should go up to that missile GPS to then try and search for the enemy when it's nice and flat by like launching this way nice and straight. But it doesn't work that way. If you notice with the minefield drone, it's gonna to get to the GPS and it's gonna stay because it's not level. So it won't try going this way. It's trying to go up. So let's get rid of this and let's fly back down again and try it with the new AI blocks like the missile. Now, this should be aligned to gravity, etc., etc. So this should actually lay flat, but it has another problem that you'll notice very, very quickly when it actually tries to trigger itself to release its mines or the clusters it has around it. That's why it's in that shape. It just shuts down. There you go, perfect timing. It literally just shuts down. I do not know why, either the batteries or something like that, it just will not allow it to do it. Even with the basic guidance, uh, the threatening subtype, I've changed the actual block itself, the defensive AI block. I've even done a mixture of all of them where these ones will actually go up to the GPS to try and do it. Nope. As soon as it disconnects, everything shuts down. And obviously when everything shuts down, you can't get a timer block to just go, oh, I'm gonna start my timer for two or one second to turn everything back on. No, because the timer doesn't have power itself. The, ba the, the batteries just don't work as well. It's really quite strange. So with that being said, I hope I have explained and chatted about a lot of the things with this AI block. I am super, super looking forward to this thing at the moment it looks really good and it's going to improve space engineers with that event controller i haven't touched any of the event controller just yet and i'm really super excited too because that's what i'll be doing next as always stay sharp till next time like subscribe see ya